David with Liguori Drag Racing. And in yesterday's video, I went over gear-based compensation. Today, we're going to be going over gear change compensation. The difference is you can add fuel or uh, add fuel, remove fuel, add timing, remove timing, at a gear change, not just gear based. So gear based is done off of the gear and engine RPM. Gear change compensation, you can put in a minimum TPS. So apply compensation when TPS is above. And then gear change compensation table is the gear change one two two three three four four five five six and the time after the gear change so this is specifically at the gear change you can see here on the table this is how the gear changes would look this is adding fuel to the gear change and up to six tenths past the gear change so at the gear change, it makes the initial move at 0, 0.00 seconds. And it slowly takes out fuel as it um, as the time goes for six tenths of a second. You can also do this for timing. For example, if you wanted to pull five degrees of timing at each shift and ramp it back in, you can do so. And on the data logger, I'll show you what this looks like. We have gear change compensation here. And you can see at every gear change, here is the gear. Red line is the compensation for that gear. We can see that it adds the gear, adds the fuel for that gear change. And then takes it back out. This bike is specifically a full auto, so you don't see the major lean blips it's not really lean because it's throwing raw fuel past the o2 sensor but you don't see those blips in it but i use gear change can compensation to control the air fuel ratio at the gear change still even though it's a full auto to try to soften it to try to keep this line dead straight so that's gear change compensation if you don't have it in the quick access panel on the left hand side make sure that it is selected here in map options and it will pop up gear change compensation let me know if you have any questions in the comments below like subscribe hit the bell notification thanks